It's your man Legacy Prince. I am Queen Lee. It's your boy DJ P4UI. Yes, sir. It's the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show, FlowRadioShow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified, man. We back in the building. We got a special guest with us, man. I don't even know. Oh, man, the resume done grew so much since the last time. Since the That's last crazy. time. You since know what I'm saying? Since the last time, since the last time. That's what I'm time. saying, because she came twice. She pulled yeah. up twice. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. And it was like, yo, the resume just extended. It grew tremendously, yo. Aaliyah, who we got in the building? Wait, so first it was an artist. Yeah. Artist. It was artist. Uh-huh. Then she came husband. Huh? Then she came her husband. Uh-huh. I'm naming the time she's came. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So she came as an artist. Yeah. She came as a wife Podcast. and her husband. As a couple. Uh-huh. And now she's coming as a coach. Oh, this is crazy. To this is crazy, y'all. We got Takesha and Mabel. Yes, sir. What's up? What up, what up, what up, what up? Crazy. Formerly yes, known as D.K. Lee. D.K. Yeah. Lee. Yeah, y'all know. Okay, okay. You know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That Resume was long and hefty. Yo, yes. a lot has been popping yes, off. Yeah. A lot has you been popping so? off. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I got I got one main thing that I'm in right now, but yeah. Yeah, I right now. So. But now yeah, the resume you ain't do. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm. I mean the resume is 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 decorated. You know what I'm saying? You've been, sure. you've been out yeah, here doing a lot. It. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Doing a lot. We're gonna dive into it, man. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um how you been? I have been excellent. Mm. God has been a very good um, I think that I, the, the main word that I can think of is I feel anchored now. Like, I feel like I've been running from a lot of things, a lot of things that I know God was calling me to. And honestly, just out of confusion too, like what God was really, really anchoring me in. So I feel anchored. That's the word I can say, mm. still at peace, um, in purpose, on fire, passionate, mm. um, just so many different things I feel and then I feel like I'm 30 now too so I, I was oh, I was in my 20s when I came there. here last time big stuff so it's a it's it's just different and big every thrill. woman says that like when you turn 30 it's really different one of my friends was like girl you had dang near an eclipse on your birthday like my birthday was so what's the word babe catastrophic Catastrophic? Cat- oh, catastrophic? you said I thought you said catastrophic. <laughs> no, I'm not. already. Yeah. See, I'm trying to come in this interview serious and yeah. let y'all know what's popping. But no, it was um, <laughs> it just was a, a a really drastic shift in my life that happened around my birthday. So I feel mm. like now, um, when you face like near death, well, what happened? Because I know I know you you kind of alluded to it and you making some changes and some yeah. things like that. What 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 happened if you you know you know well, talking about um. I, I'm not there to talk about it fully okay, cool, yet, cool. but okay. I will share that um, I was running. I was definitely running from a portion of my calling, mm. and I was trying to shape it in a way that it made me comfortable and also made me feel like it made others comfortable. Mm. How I walked my walk, how I talk my talk, how I do what I do, I kind of felt like at a it was a point that I was trying to just do the most for everyone. Mm. Mm. And on my birthday, all well, around that time, it's like I faced God and was like, you don't have no other choice. You yeah. either going to do completely my will or you won't do anything. Mm-hmm. And um, and when I say that, I mean, I mean that like with my life was threatened. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. So you said so that was a part of you feeling like you weren't anchored because you said you yeah. had you had a lot going on. I did. You know what I mean? But you weren't explain what that yeah. means, because I know a lot of times people think having a lot, you know, having their hands in a lot of different things equates to like, oh, I'm doing the will of God. Right, and, right. You know what I'm saying? But. You said you still didn't feel anchored. Yeah. Explain that. Yeah, I mean, you can do good things and then not be God. And you can do yeah. Christian things and it's still not God. Mm-hmm. And so even with me, you know, having a form of success, right? Make, being able to make money off of content, being able to make money off of what I do, what people nowadays would consider success, it was not the will of God for me. And mm-hmm. I knew that. I think I talk, I feel like I talked about this last time, but um, even when I was doing Christian hip hop for three years, the last three years, I knew I was walking in disobedience. I knew it. Mm. I knew that the God, I knew God had called me out of it, but I was fearful. I felt like my identity was that everybody knew me as that. Mm. And I knew he was calling me to speak. I knew he was calling me to do YouTube, the wife content that I do now. And so, yeah, before it wasn't like I was doing anything bad. I just wasn't doing the thing yeah. that God was calling me to. And now that I am, and I absolutely surrender to his will that's where the anchoring comes from so i have a question because i was literally talking about my wife to my wife about basically almost the same thing what is it that causes you not to like just totally surrender like you know you you know what you read you hear it you understand it but yet you still kind of not 
like do your own thing like, what is that about yeah i think it's two sides i think one is sometimes you don't know you're not surrendered mm-hmm. so you can think that you are you can right. think because you're doing the will of god you, you're preaching speaking rapping etc fill in the blank you can't think that you are living a surrender life mm-hmm. so i think that's one side you just don't know and that comes from just the lack of intimacy with christ right mm-hmm. actually walking with him going into the throne room when you pray to him you're not just giving the list of demands that you want but god i ask him now am, is this still what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, let me know. So I think that's one side, but I think for me, the other side was how much I had to give up of myself Mm. to walk in what I'm walking in. Mm. So even parts of quote unquote, my personality where I'm like, Mm. and I know like, follow me when I say this, not that he is taking away from how he made me, Mm. but things that just attached to me over time. That was a counterfeit version of me. And so I think that that was the main, that was the main thing for me. It's just, giving up pieces of me that i just was not willing and ready to Hmm. yeah so okay so i have a more simpler question i want to know because it's so crazy the other day i was typing up something um for uh, my wedding stuff and i had to put your name and the holy spirit told me to put takesha mm. like i was putting tk and the holy spirit was like no, put takesha yeah so i want to know what does this this like name switch to you means like publicly like what does that mean to you yeah so people still call me tk they just they just put coach in front of it now this reminds me when i went to your um going away party i think mm-hmm. And we were rapping at her party yeah. and someone recorded it. Mm-hmm. And I had on an all white blazer and a black bob. And I, it was me, you, oh, I know you Wande, say. Portia. Yeah. We was all rapping. And I looked at that camera. I said, that is not me no more. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not yeah. me. And you didn't I even want to go up there. I did it. Yeah. No, yeah, she did. She, she was like, don't go. Up. DJ, come Every on. time somebody like, asked bad. me to rap. After I'm the first like, verse, she said, okay, that's it. Cut it. Because yeah. <laughs> I was so, I was like, I got another one. Yeah. I was hyping it up. Yeah, we got another one. And I don't, I don't mind because rapping is easy for me but um like i said the last three years i was walking in in disobedience but Mm -hmm. i think after watching myself like just on screen watching myself trying to do something that i just wasn't supposed to be doing anymore it made me more passionate about absolutely becoming fully who i am so detaching from tk lee was just detaching from a version of myself that i want people to let i don't even want to say let die but it's like put respect on what i'm doing now yeah so when I walk in the room, it's not a rapper anymore. I'm a woman of God. That's yeah. it. Just period. So how has that shift been for your community? Like the people mm. around you? Phenomenal. Everybody has respect. First of all, it's not, I don't think nobody in this room is surprised by what I do. No. Nah, not so, at all. Not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm we're not. Like I came in here and I'm like, y'all, I decided to be, you know, a, a doctor and OBGYN. It's like, what? No, y'all, I mean, most people knew, even with, even when I was rapping, yeah. I wouldn't take shows that was 15 minutes. I needed at least 25 to 30 because I need to minister. Mm. That's just who I always have been. Like, I just, I hate it. Short, quick, rapping, get to the point. No, I want to talk about my testimony. I want to tell y'all how marriage was for me. I want to save some soul. I want to get into the the nitty gritty. And so I don't think no one was surprised. Mm. So it was just like, girl, yeah. First of all, my audience, my supporters asked me to do this before I even said yes. Mm. It was, can you coach me? Hey, can you and your husband, you know, have a a session with us? It was a continual, like, it got to the point that I absolutely felt convicted for saying no. Wow. Like, to, my inbox was going crazy. Like, absolutely insane. So what is walking in obedience for you looking like now? Like, and, and, and how much of a, I guess, burden was lifted as you walk in obedience? Yeah. I think um, I am living like the absolute definition of just being unapologetically sold out for Christ. Mm. And so it's, it's, it's really different because... I don't, I, I, it's, it's literally, I can't even explain it. It's like, I am created to do this. It is in my being. It's my essence for what I do. Mm-hmm. And there's just nothing, you can't even explain that. It's, I'm not trying. Like I just posted this on uh, Instagram the other day. I'm like, wow, I really get up every day. Like this is my life. I get to talk to women, coach wives, get in my community, talk to almost 70 women that are dedicated every single week to nurture their femininity, become better wives. This is what I get to do on a daily. I just get to sit in my room, make eBooks, make content, create Mm. videos surrounding who I am. It is just the overflow and it's blessing people. So it's inexplainable. So, so for people who may not have like people who are wrestling with fully surrendering and they may not have such a catastrophic, um, situation shift yeah right what is some advice you can give to them to be like yo like this is like what are some practical steps to letting go 
and then we're gonna switch into uh shift gears and the ladies of light you know second. what i actually like wish that for everyone catastrophicness i do yeah, especially for people that are deeply rebellious, like people that are rebellious, mm. people that are prideful, people that are sneaky, right? <laughs> like up front, they're living a certain type of way, but in the background, oh, okay, it's some okay. stuff that ain't, you know, really right. And you know, God is calling you to live either a, a, a life of purity or a life fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah. I think that some people, I think a lot of people actually need it because it, even though I wasn't necessarily like in sin or doing anything crazy behind the scenes, if it's just it's in our being to try to like finesse God in yeah, a way, sure. you know what I mean? Like I want to, I, I hear what you're saying, but I kind of want to shape this in a way that yeah. fits me a little bit better. Like I know what surrendering fully means that that might mean no alcohol. That might mean no hookah. That might mean I, I completely change the way that I dress. How about I just do it like part-time? Yeah, yeah, how about yeah. I just do it when I got a, a show to go to, or how about I just do this one? You know what I mean? So I think for a lot of people that deal with pride, if you know, you're a prideful person, if you know, you try to be God, right. You try to control and shape your own life. I think a lot of people need catastrophic things mm. to happen to them catastrophic that's a huge word i'm gonna be honest with you it sounds scary really? yeah. no, no, i mean because you know you know when you hear catastrophic that means like total chaos yeah like you the whole joint like, blew but up the crazy thing is you probably already are in chaos mm. you just feel like you're managing it that's True. it you probably are living a chaotic life because mm. if first of all if you're not surrendered that's just what that is mm -hmm. when you are kind of doubling on each side that's chaotic in mm. itself and so god just magnified it it was already happening god god just magnified it for me to see it so clearly like my husband the whole house was just it was shifted completely. the whole house the whole house how did it shift it was evident it was evident that i was you know like the um what is it called when the the um caterpillar go through the thing Metamorphosis. Yeah, I went through that like just a stillness mm. where I mean, just to not to not again. One day I'm gonna share this. I'm yeah. just literally not comfortable. It's still thinking okay, okay. about it. Literally still shakes me. But um, for five days I had visions back to back. Literally wow. still in my house. God would not let me move until I completely say yes. Wow. Am I telling the truth, babe? Five days still could not move. I was literally like a a lump on a log, <laughs> like stuck. And the Lord spoke to me every day. I had dreams just so vividly, visions in the middle of the day. Like my life was shook. And so, yeah. Man. I can't wait to hear that testimony. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped to One see day. that. I'm yeah. hyped to hear that, man. One day. Um, I got it's heavy in the room, huh? No, no. It's not at all. Not at all. For the first 15 minutes, yeah. Like, I, we I, just I, got I, here. I, I'm very <laughs> inquisitive. I'm, I'm a very inquisitive person. I'm curious and I love to hear testimonies. I, I watch stuff like that on YouTube. Like it's this one channel YouTube channel where I listen to like people it's like an hour or something just talking yeah. about mm -hmm. their testimonies. I love that stuff too. And it's so like yeah. my mouth just be like, dang. I be a, yeah, I ain't I, trying I to have one of them much. hell experiences. Like, you know, somebody no, go to bed this, and get dragged to hell and see it. It's, it's and not come even back. a hell experience, bro. That, it's, that it's, would, I don't know, man. That would, that it's would a life trip experience. Me out. It's and crazy because I pray those type of prayers. To see hell? Just no, 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 Yeah, like, I asked the Lord for trances. Yeah. Evang uh, uh, what is it called? Evan how you say the word? Ange Outer body? Angelic. Angelic visitations. Oh, oh no, that's I, cool. That's cool. Angelic visitations is beautiful. But like the ones where you No one, No, one lady. The she Terrifying. was driving. The angel was in her passenger seat. I don't know about yeah, that. Get out. That's a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> now you said you want it. Now you don't want that one. Yeah, that's kind of close though. You trying to drive yeah. and you're in my passenger seat. But yeah. How much pieces that come? That with, is. Mm. You gotta think about that. Yeah. How much pieces yeah. that come in that yeah. moment? It's like, oh, yeah. what's up? You'll be surprised. For sure, but I know. Uh, think about it. I, but listen, I never understood why in the Bible the angels come and say, "Fear not." Exactly. Please, I was me. about to say that. I'm no, but it depends yeah. on what form they take. Because Revelation got them angels looking like. Yeah, wow. Okay, no. So if you come with all she, the eyes she and said, the wings, she said it was, it was dressed like uh like a king, like a king, like he looked like like the guardsmen that stand at the king's door, like he was like suited in coming to America. Tight. Like I don't know. But <laughs> DJ yeah, he wasn't all that. <laughs> Right, all right, let's go on a break. So I'm ready to get into All right, man, we got more with stuff. Takesha. Did I say that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh! yeah. Okay. <laughs> when we come back, man, y'all keep it locked for RadioShow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified. We'll be right back. What's good? It's your boy T-Log, and you're listening to the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Legacy the Prince. I am Queen Lee. It's your boy, DJ. <laughs> what happened? Yo, it's the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show, man. We are back. 
flowradioshow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified, man. We got Takesha Iwebu in the building with us. Really excited about this. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, she on one now. you launched a very, very awesome women's group, right? Community. 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 Uh-huh. Right? Um, Ladies of Light. Correct. Talk to us how the, uh, the inception of that came about. And what is it? Yeah. Yes. So... Ladies of Light is a continuity program. So it's a subscription-based community mm-hmm. where they pay every single month. We meet once a week, but I'll be talking to heads off. So we we meet way more than that. Um, Zoom calls. So mainly the pillars of the community is faith, femininity, and fellowship. Mm. So I am training, supplying resources and tools for their faith so that they can grow, obviously, as daughters in God, femininity, which is honestly probably the main thing. Mm. Um, women feeling like they live in a hard life so um being able to pull that out of them like giving them practical tools digging in their lives um seeing what i can eliminate what we can eliminate together whether that is um a lot of times especially for women it's just not asking their husbands for help Mm. and wanting their husbands to read their mind and just help on their own like not communicating all of those things um from appearance you know like actually as you're at home look okay look yeah. decent take, take care of off. yourself yeah take the bonnets off you know b- brush the edge down real quick pop on a lip gloss um and then also uh fellowship so building mm-hmm. sisterhood a lot of women just feel like they are alone they don't have sisters they don't have friends they don't have women that are at least going in the same direction and so um i actually all of my mentors told me to do this in 2022 mm. 22 i think and um, at that time, I thought I was just supposed to coach one on one, and okay. so I did that. And I don't know if I should say that I hated it, but I didn't like it a lot. Or one on one coaching? Yeah, I didn't like it. I feel like it wasn't enough to provide in environment for them to actually transform. Mm. Sixty seconds. I mean, sixty minutes is just not enough. Yeah. Like I need. Yes. I need like 12 months with yeah. you to really allow transform. Like, let's go through it. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's build this relationship. It's discipleship. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, um, yeah, that's what I thought I was going to do. And um, it's so crazy. Can I tell y'all this dream that I had? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was in 2020. I don't remember. But I had this dream. Um, actually, I had a spiritual experience at a event, at a church event. And it was a powerful move of God happening in the atmosphere. The lights turned off thousands of people in this building. Mm. And the pastor said, this is the environment. This is the atmosphere that you ask God for anything that you want. And I said, instead of asking God what I want, I want to know what you want from me. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I instantly felt like I was nine months pregnant. My stomach was hard. I couldn't breathe. I I literally felt full term pregnant. And so I clearly knew, okay, God has planted a seed in me. What, what am I about to birth? So I'm asking him. And at that time I thought it was something else. Else. years later this is maybe four or five years later wow. i have a dream that a baby is laying on my chest and as a, a mother you know when you have a uh, a newborn and they're laying on you or you're nursing it's just that feeling like this is mine like this is my little baby and it fit me so perfectly but i didn't know if it was mine so in this dream at the same time my friend was pregnant and i said god is this my friend's baby and he said no and then my husband was in a hallway. I said, did we have a baby? And either the either the Lord said no or he said nothing. Mm. And then I didn't ask. I kind of just stated. I said, this is my baby. Like, I just said, like, this this is just mine. Mm. And I ended up waking up. I actually asked Aaliyah. I think I asked you, like, what do you think about mm-hmm. that? Um, and that was what I am doing right now. Literally, I birthed the baby of this community. It is mine. Mm. Like, the Lord has assigned me to it. It's kind of what I was talking about earlier with being anchored. Like, I have birthed the seed that God has put in me. Wow. So, yeah. Um, the community is just a, a group of women. Um, it's it's so crazy because um, I had a two day event where I you know gave the offer that I was going to do this community and the numbers essentially I'll explain it in a simple way. Most people get like if there's a hundred people at your event mm-hmm. for people to actually sign up for your community you can expect like maybe three or four. Yeah, I had I think seventy women in the. Uh, event wow and i have 65 women in my actual community Damn. so almost everybody signed up That's crazy. and it was just an overwhelming you know just an overwhelming wow. emotion and feeling so yeah it has just been blossoming is this uh, uh only for married couple women no okay so um i think i think it is 
more wives than there are single women, which is actually very surprising. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a lot of single women, which is what I'm actually striving for. I'm okay. striving to get more single women in to avoid the pitfalls, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm okay with working with wives so that we can work backwards. We can kind of clean some stuff up, but I prefer to actually get with some single women so they can, like I said, avoid the pitfalls. We yeah. can work on stuff before you get married. So we aren't choosing trash. We aren't, you know, just smashing mm -hmm. through the city. We aren't lost. Wow. We aren't, you know what I'm saying? Living in a fog. Like we're getting clarity before we get in this marriage. Mm -hmm. um, because what I do now, had we not moved the way that we did before we got married, we could have did this year one. We could have been doing this year two. Wow. So that's what I say. Like, especially if you're a woman and you feel like you're on a mission, you're on a call, you got to be real, real, real careful of who you marry because they really can delay you. Jeez. And that's so Damn. good. I, that's so good because I think a lot of people, and I, I talk to you, I talk to you about this a lot, but I told you I never wanted to become a wife and just become a wife. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah, wanted to become that. a mom and just become a mom. So I love how intentional you are about, you know, like I still have a purpose outside sure. of like me and my husband purpose together. God mm -hmm. still put something in me too. And then to have a husband that compliments like y'all purposes compliment each other is so amazing. But I wanted to ask you, okay, and this is a, this is single standpoint and a married standpoint. Mm -hmm. What on both of those spectrums are the biggest challenges that you see each one of these groups face and that they come to and be like, Takesha, how do I do this single side? And Takesha, how do I do this married side? Mm. Both sides is absolutely the lack of self-awareness. Really? It doesn't even matter what they ask me. The problem is the lack of self-awareness. Mm. Almost 100% of the time. Whether that is women that are struggling in their marriage, their husband is X, mm. Y, and Z. He ain't whatever or single women saying that they're struggling with actually like it's a what they call it a sahara desert mm -hmm. out here like there's no one to find the struggles whatever it is it still comes down to a lack of self-awareness mm -hmm. i tell women all the time especially the ones that even within my community that might go on a rant about how men are nowadays i'm like why are you worried about what other men are doing if you are walking the path if you are in alignment with what you're doing that ain't my husband Right? Yeah. Like, if you can think like that, like, wait a minute. If I'm a daughter of God, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It don't matter how crazy these men are in these streets. Mm -hmm. I am a daughter of God. Yep. I'm going to marry a son of God. Yep. So it don't. It just don't matter. And so I feel like every time I'm talking to them, I'm having to get through so much cultural. They kind of mix cultural with spiritual, mm. mix with, like, it's a lot of, I'm like, we got to clear all yeah, that out. And that's why, like, now I am so biblically, like, let's let's get in the word we got right. blue letter bible app let's get to the context because just so many women are just lost like they're not aware because i feel like at times it's like i was talking to a, i was talking to some friends one time and we was talking about uh the scripture that says he that finds a wife mm. right finds a good thing mm -hmm. and i asked the question right i was just like are you ready to be found yeah Mm. And like, yo, they chewed my head off. But it's a legit <laughs> question. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a whole lot of work that go in on both sides, of course. of course. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like there's a there's a lot of work that goes in on both ends of the spectrum. Or there's a lot of work that goes in prior to you being found that a lot of people run away from yeah. actually doing. Like, That's true. What about, you know, working on unpacking your stuff? Yeah. Like, are you ready to be submissive? Are you ready to be... You know what I'm saying? I, I listen to your content all the time, so you know what I'm saying? But are you ready to be quiet? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when to shut up. Like, it's TK. I'm sorry. I know. As you were saying, like, be nice. you know, it was like, yo, do you know when to shut up? No, like, it was crazy. Is, it, is this the time for you to be talking thing? or should you shut up? You don't even know how to do that. But one, you want to be a wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One time, um, before my wife and I got married uh -oh. and we were getting into it, like, it was oh, conversation going that. back and forth. And I was in front of, we was in front of her parents and I just went, I was like, just shut up. I think you told me this. Yeah. And I said, I'm shy. I just did this in front of her parents. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw her what dad. Pops right? What pops up? He was just like, well. That's the his exact <laughs> face. Exactly. <laughs> like what? Like what? And I was shocked. And her mom is saying, I was like, you got to nod. I was like. Okay. So, dang. okay. So I want to Can ask, I say something oh, yeah, to ahead. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, the problem a lot of going back to what you said legacy the reason why women don't work on themselves is because mm. culturally we were taught that we are enough regardless that's true and that's not saying that okay we're we are daughters of god like yes we are valuable we're worthy we're washed with the blood right but oh my gosh especially in this time facts boy. it don't matter what you do you are my a prize, god. right it doesn't matter especially once that girl um what's steve harvey's daughter name 
Lori. Lori. Yeah, Lori. she she did a interview on the red carpet that mm-hmm. went viral, and it's like, what's one thing that you want to you know tell the girls? Just remember, you are the prize, and the women ran with it, and I think that did such a disservice to actual emotional growth for women, actual mental growth for women, that's actual crazy. spiritual growth for women, because it's like, no, that yeah. that's, that's actually inaccurate. It doesn't matter how bad you are. It don't matter how good you are in the bedroom. At the end of the day, if you are not emotionally mature, you will not be able to not only manage that man, but yourself. Mm. And so that's why women come to me because they are like, I don't even know how to have self-control. Mm. Who? Why didn't no one tell me how to slow? Like, I'm teaching them very practical things, but it's just not taught. Yeah. And it's it's in the that's word. That's crazy. That's what's it's, crazy. But it's it's the, it could be at word. home, too. You said what? It should be at home, too. But if they didn't grow up like that. If you ain't grow up seeing none of that, yeah, that's that's women don't. yeah I know. I ain't never seen a successful marriage in my life until so I met my pastor. There you go. So I, it's not, it's not always like to be just, you know, what I'm saying second no, nature. Like it's, it's not, definitely not. And so, okay, so even this perfect, the perfect setup for I was gonna ask, what has been one of the most shocking ask of women to you, like whether that was married or single, like what have you been like, for real, like you, like you asking this? Um, probably any type of sex question. Really? Wow. Yeah, I, I. What's the most frequent it, one? <laughs> no, I'm asking. Why would you make a, a sound effect on me? What? I'm asking. She said crank it up. She said crank it up. So we're yeah. trying to segue into the crank. I mean, I get asked a sex question daily mm. from is it okay to use toys is it okay to give my husband head I can wish, i swallow can i i wish uh, they would tell me to clear out my top drawer i'll be pissed oh wait so <laughs> can you use toys um <laughs> no tell me i need to use <laughs> let's go let's go yeah so i can i can ask almost every any anything like i've had i i have had very unique full-fledged conversations with women literally like teaching them things mm. um so yeah i think sex a sex question always surprises me because i'm like i you know automatically you be like y'all we all know how to do it yeah. like it's head it's this is that mm-hmm. you know it's a few positions and no like women i think also because of porn and just like their yeah. past they're right. trying to purify this marriage thing so if if they was really out here bad they like can i really be out here bad with my man yeah. like right. can i do the same things i did in the streets with my husband and so we walk through those type of things but you asked about toys um and i answered the question with sex toys and in, in in, in the context of marriage the same every single time and I think this is the same as far as masturbation if you had struggles and addictions prior to marriage with these things like you were addicted to the vibrator mm. you were addicted to the rose you were addicted to your hands I don't think it's something you should play with right um because, even with your partner no I, I because what ends up typically happening happen is it, it becomes a crutch mm. especially for women because almost 75 percent of women are not having Climaxes, climaxes, climaxes yeah, with yeah, yeah. their with their husbands. So when they leave, they get in the rows. Wow. When they go on a work trip, they go into town by themselves God, because they got to catch up on all the climaxes that they've missed. And I'm talking about women have told me for seven years they never had a, reached a climax. My right. God, so continual God, God. lack of, and you've been addicted. Oh, that thing can it can it can really bite you in your butt real quick and now you can't even have a or you can't even reach an orgasm oh my gosh go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead it don't matter (laughs) you can't even reach an orgasm with your husband because your hands have been trained like your body has been trained to self-pleasure and so um i say don't play with it but if it's something that you ain't like that ain't no big deal to me girl have fun And um, so that's a question because you spoke about actually walking people through this. I have. And you had to like walk them through. Like I've been in the same setting with them mm-hmm. and I've. Yeah, she got a little, she got a little plastic dummy. No. This is. Almost. This is the. <laughs> and then to like also. Um, some women have gone through like traumatic experiences sexually. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I also have to like reframe their mind. Like it's okay to let go. You ever heard it, of somebody dealing with vaginismus before? I've never heard of that. Mm. Is it? Oh, it's no. like a painful situation when you. Oh listen. yes, I have. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah. How you say that word? Vaginismus. Say it again. Vaginismus. Spell it. I am. I think it's really like, my wife. We dealt with that like right off the bat. Yeah, it's a lot of it things was you can do outside. Crazy, of that. but yeah, he said outside of that. Mm-hmm. But I was trying to 
Yeah, you gotta take take yeah. take us take us through it. That's another. That's another. Okay, topic. okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I thought you was going. It's a long there. conversation. Period. That's great. Okay, so I want to get into the topic of submission. Yay! I literally see so many men under your comments. Oh, look, when it comes to submission. Yeah, they love. So it. what do you time. what do you think? But some of them be saying crazy stuff too. Some of it. Some of them actually like it. Some of them like, oh yeah, this is right. They be like, protect but, her at all costs. But and then, but then some <laughs> men be like, what is she talking about? Yeah. So like, what are the pros and cons to the the of the men under your comments talking about? Or commenting on you talking about submission and mm. what has that even taught you? Um, uh, to be very frank, I really don't care. Mm. I am created to do what I do. So good, bad, all the comments they affect me all the same. Mm. I'm gonna I'm say what I gotta say and laugh at some stuff if it's crazy. Like I had a dude that went on a little commenting spree and was like, "Heathen, you ain't supposed to be preaching. You're no women are supposed oh my to." Be. You know, like he just went on the spree and I was like, "This dude is wild." Like I laugh at that type of stuff, but um. I, I need to actually look at like the metrics and stuff to see what is the percentage of my following. Is men because it, it might be more men yeah, than there are women. One time you said it was a lot more men. I know in the past it has been, and yeah. I mean anytime when people when men love being stimulated in conversations when it is pertaining to their ego. So if I'm going to talk about submission, if I'm going to talk about you need to shut up, that's just going to always click to the ear because they most likely have a woman at home that don't know how to shut the heck up. They most likely have a woman at home that has no self-control. They most likely have a woman at home that you know struggles with anger so it's gonna connect to them and i don't have a problem with that i'd be in they when they respond i'd be like send your wife my content yeah and some of them do yeah i have women in my community that's like my husband saw you yeah, yeah, yeah. and now i'm here so i love them all love so them all how do you nicely tell a woman that she need to shut up um after she come to you for advice and she tell you the situation and in your mind you're like girl you just need to shut up like how are you nice yeah. to tell them that i think i always give my story so they automatically know they're not talking to like an alien that has mm. never dealt with this. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I give them the backdrop of how I had lack of self-control. I give them the background of how I emasculated my husband with my words and verbally abusive and just lack of submission, mm. all of that. And so when they see me, they're like, wait, you're this now and you're, t okay, give it to me. Yeah. Give me all the tea. And yeah. so I just usually tell them my, uh, my journey. And I think women now especially the women in my community are actually falling in love with being quiet because let me tell you let me tell you something real quick mm. women act like men are like they shut down they don't talk a lot but we just talk too much and i've i literally tested this out on my husband one time we were having a conversation and i'll be testing him out all the time like Dang. i'm like let me see if this works but I was having a conversation and you know how we girls can talk. We can just cut each other off and be like, oh my God, did you ever go to the mall? Yeah. And girl, yes I did. But anyways, remember that? Mm -hmm. Like we can just talk like that and we can connect the dots. Men don't work like that. They have to work. They have to like walk through the right. journey. <laughs> so a lot of times we're itching because we like, Get to the point. Yeah. You're like, what you My wife say that all the time. But if you can, if you can just be quiet for long enough, this is what I do with my husband. I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting to know him mm. just by being quiet. Just by letting him have the conversation. What you say, babe? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not be in the background, Tom. Sound effect. Press the button right there. Drop the bombs, man. <laughs> no, hey, but my I'm... mind was literally blown by being quiet. So I don't just say this because it's popular. I say it because I am an experience of it. When I decided to be quiet and just listen, mm. even if it feels like it's not going nowhere. I'm starting to get his perspective. I'm starting to understand him. I'm starting to hear his background. I'm starting to hear his emotional temperament. I'm starting to hear how his day went. I'm starting to hear how I can cater to it. Like you're beginning to like actually hear your man because what we do a lot of times in marriage as women, we're trying to shape them through our conversations. Right. We're trying to make them like we're trying to force them to feel away force them to say things like we're completing sentences for them no sis let them finish it yeah let him scramble for some time but it's a perfect way to get to know them so i don't even know what the question was My but yeah God. it's good to be quiet sometimes oh i was asking how do you quietly tell them i'm not yes. quietly but yeah um, tell them gently I'm, is yeah, just giving them my story yeah i'm gonna say your story makes it a softer for sure yeah. for absolutely sure. absolutely all right man we're gonna run off into another break man we got more with takisha Iwebu when we come back. Yo, flowradioshow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified. That New York City public school education kicking in. I'm struggling through that. I want to say that. What's up, family? This is Jay Boski Beats, and you are now tuned in to the Fresh Leftovers radio show. 
Hey man, they the hardest out right now. Tap in. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Legacy the Prince. It's your boy DJ B4EY. Yes, sir. It's the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show, flowradioshow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified, man. We got Coach TK in the building. Hey, still kicking with us, man. Dropping some gems on us, man. EY, talk to us, my guy. So um, my question I had was, uh, I know you talk about this a lot, but how important is femininity? Okay. Especially it. in the marriage, for sure. Mm-hmm. And in single oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in marriage, um, one of the things that made me start like really stepping on the neck of that conversation Mm -hmm. is because what is attached to like the essence of femininity right Mm -hmm. so we're talking about patience we're talking about stillness we're talking about calm we're talking about shifting an atmosphere right Mm -hmm. for the better and again back to what we were talking about earlier speaking to so many women that lack self-control anger issues all of those things this is why I'm, i'm now like first of all i'm gonna be honest with y'all the word femininity is like a um what's the thing called a hook mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. so most women are saying i want to live a soft life i want to live this but what they don't know is that's just experiencing the fruits of the spirit mm. really living a soft life is just being in joy self-control gentle humility like right, all of right. those things so that's just kind of the for, the what i would say the storefront name of it all but i think it's incredibly important in a marriage because a lot of times what we are exerting in a marriage is the masculine trait which is and i don't even want to say leadership but um how do i say this the uh the the desire to be the head <laughs> like it, we have the desire to be in charge and so yeah. when we can rest in that when women are struggling with with submission when we can rest in femininity submission comes right nurturing comes mm-hmm. gentleness comes patience comes understanding comes mm-hmm. because you want to embrace the essence of that so it's kind of like i'm i'm tricking them in a way to to feel like they're getting something for themselves and they are but they are absolutely benefiting their husbands at the same time yeah. and so marriages are better when women are okay with being women when women are excited about being a a female right so so what advice can you give to the fellas right I was just about to say <clears throat> that. Yeah. Yeah. if they're dealing with um a wife or a girlfriend whoever say wife okay um who is going through that that journey of discovering her femininity mm-hmm. and also like observing that type of masculine energy mm-hmm. and it's just like creating so much tension yeah. in their household like what can you what can advice can you give you from your personal experiences mm-hmm. with, with your husband exactly where I'm about you know to what go. i'm saying like mm-hmm. what can yeah. advice can you give yeah so this is a look the where i'm gonna insert my husband because mm. let's go he did um exactly what i'm what i feel like every man should do when it comes to dealing with a woman that is quote unquote alpha Mm. and sometimes because god has built us to be leaders preachers speakers if you are in the category of being a leader you can lean into that real 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 quick especially Mm. if you're in a male dominant career field like you know certain things you just gotta move a certain way um but one thing that my husband did and i was talking about this earlier um, is it okay if we talk about scripture? Right. Absolutely. We love scripture. <clears throat> and yeah. Ephesians 5, um, we know that that's talking about, you know, the whole order of husband and wives. And I was reading it today and it talks about he gave up his life for her to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of the word. Y'all, y'all, y'all know this scripture, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He gave up his life for her mm-hmm. to make her holy and clean washed her by the cleansing of God's word. Mm. So if you are dealing with a woman that has alpha female traits, I know people be beating me up for saying alpha because there's no such thing as being alpha if you're female, but that's what we use. If she's being alpha, if she if she's being masculine, mm. it is literally your design to wash her yeah. and clean her of that. She ain't trying to hit none of that. You gotta throw the I word ain't talking about my wife. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, because let's be honest, if you want to, if you want an me alpha you, mentality, me, but, you ain't but trying to hear none of that. Who you that's trying to talk? That's not true. I don't because you're talking true. to the, a testament of it. Not everybody. Uh, just l- listen. So it is your, it is in your being to wash her with mm-hmm. the word. You right. are literally supposed to clean her you, with the word. Of those things with the word but what is the word right Mm -hmm. that is the two-edged sword that's cleaning cutting up anything so your life is the example to lead her into that Mm. it's no conversation i get what you're saying and and, let me finish okay so even with my husband Mm. for all the times 
that I have emasculated him verbally for all the times that we have had, I have led in many toxic conversations, things that I'm still like sewing back into him for what I took out of him. Mm -hmm. All throughout those years, there was one constant thing, and that was this man's consistency with his walk with Christ. Now, listen, I know for every man that is listening to this saying, well, that's not enough for my woman. It isn't your responsibility to put a time on how fast that's, she moves. No, that's true. That's true. Your that's true. role as a husband, yeah. period, is to wash her with the word. The so word. when she is rah-rah, what is your response to that? What would um, Jesus had told me that in the Bible, that's why I'll be hitting him with the word. Not that my wife does that, but I gotta hit her with it because that's. But it's not hitting. I, it's not hitting with the word. It is living it. It's yeah, yeah, being yeah. it. It's exuding it. And if you got a halfway decent woman, a, a, just a half, yeah, that really does love the Lord, and she really is talking to the Lord, mm. and she really is does. She's gonna feel dumb after a while. I, I don't. I, I I hear what you're saying, but I, I kind of disagree, okay. right? Because, like. It don't matter how much like so, I, I got I got friends that's like they wives is some preaching Bible thumping demon slayers and they can't <laughs> tell them nothing word wise because they feel like they, they hear from on. God way more and way better than you do mm -hmm. and they have alpha female traits mm -hmm. so it's just like it don't matter what kind of word you come with it don't matter what kind of it's just yo. They can do no wrong because they hear from well, that's God. That's in their disobedience. And they do so that's pride, though. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. But how can you tell? It's, you can't tell them that. I mean, like, yeah. it's a hard. You see thing. what I'm it's saying? A thing I definitely do. You can't tell them that. So you get stuck in. A, it's like, yo, I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to. I know a homie right now, bro. We talk almost every week, and he's just like, bro, like I, I'm over here telling God to talk to her because. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He one of her favorites. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And I can't. You mean to tell me he not telling her nothing about herself? But you mm -hmm. always coming to me. And I, even with my wife, right? I had this conversation where I was just like, "Yo, how is it that every time when you go to God and talk to God about something, He never tell you about you? Okay. But every time you come back in my face, you telling me what He said mm -hmm. about me? Mm -hmm. How the hell does that work? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it definitely it it happens all the time. This we talked about pride earlier, and so. I want to be very clear for every married person that is in the room and also that will watch later the severity of what you sign up for when you get married i just want to paint the picture what is marriage a reflection of you no what is what is the it's design Christ. oh yeah, 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 it's Christ. Christ. yeah so it is the reflection of jesus in the body the right. church correct so when we think about the severity of what jesus went through mm -hmm. for very prideful people for liars for thieves for homosexuals it fill in a blank the severity of what he went through and continues Traitors. to forgive mm -hmm. and continues to have mercy that is your role as a husband. Absolutely. So when we sign up, we have to have that. This is, and, and, and let me be clear about this. This is why you got to choose right. Yeah. Ooh, because shoot. if you are picking a bucket head of a person and you're mad that you can't fulfill your role, you got to pay attention to how you chose. That's fast. But now so that you So as chose. your role as a wife, when, when women are saying it's hard to submit to my man because he doesn't, you know, fill in a blank. And it's like, well, since you were supposed to choose a man that you saw already following Christ, mm. that that was that was up to you. Yeah, because you but, said I but, do. But you got a man because you was horny for a long time, or you was desperate, or you was tired of being single. You got that, a man that, that now you're teaching him about Jesus, mm -hmm. and then you're asking, how do I submit? You can't because you're leading him. Mm -hmm. You're teaching him about Jesus. Jeez. You're teaching him how to lead. You're teaching him about everything, and you're looking around like I can't be soft. Of course you're not, because you dang near married another woman too. He just as lost. He's just as all of these. My so God, that is your God. fault so the first thing is we got to be real about it being our fault okay so let's be real it, it was our fault we chose what we chose yep. we're here now now the question is do you take the covenant of what you signed up for seriously mm -hmm. and then if you can if you take it seriously let's look at the severity of it if you look at jesus who you are supposed to be like and you look at how he continuously forgives mm -hmm. for people that go into the church prideful all everything you just named prideful they be preaching they Traitors. know the word he that's the people that he died for that's mm. the people that he came for and that's your role as a husband that's why now I, wait, 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 keep going. i'll say to continue in that i have 
absolute empathy for that. Mm. So now let's go to the next part. So we understand the severity. We understand the depth. We understand that marriage is an assignment for to be a reflection of Jesus in the body here on earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. We all understand that, right? Wish so when we get the severity of that, we're no longer thinking he ain't, this ain't, she ain't. I play my role mm -hmm. because that's what I signed up for. Right. I hope you do. And I, and I pray that I chose well enough that you do. Okay, so now you ain't moving. You ain't doing the things you're supposed to do. Are mm. we exhausting all options? Mm. Are we exhausting every everything? Thing. I mean, I'm talking about get her in programs, you be in programs. Y'all don't leave the counseling session. Y'all talking to the most wise people you can. You are a listen, the Bible says your heart is where your treasure is. Are you even invested in your marriage? Mm -hmm. mm. If I look at your bank account, what does it tell me? Does it tell me you actually do care about your wife? Dang. Does it tell me you actually do care about your marriage? Or are you more invested in whatever? Fill in the blank. So if I look at your bank account, does this show me the severity of your mm. desire to have a healthy marriage? Probably not. So once we go through all those steps, come back to me. Oh, okay. Give him the bomb drops right there. Clip it! <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh, you still disagree? What? <laughs> <laughs> What? That's what? peace. That's peace. That's peace. That's peace. That's without Joni. You can make a real laugh without Joni. That's peace. That's peace. That's peace. That's peace. That was good. That was good. Oh, uh, that was. I ain't gonna count. That was good. That was. Good. That that was, good. was Mm. Yeah, that was, was just giving an example. That was, that was, I, that was yeah, like, I got, I really got a homie that dealt with that. Oh, it's or several homies. Uh, most husbands. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but most people. But that, I, I'm sorry. I do. I do agree with. Um, because like even me and my wife, we've been extremely intentional about. Mm -hmm. uh, like. Oh, what do you call it? Like wrong got me and my. That's yeah. crazy. You said what? That choosing, choosing wrong. wrong thing. Like it's. A, I'm sorry to cut you, but it's like it's just like. Doing like this yeah. because like even some of my closest Wait, friends. Wait, oh no, not you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, not that. Listen, this is what I was about to say. Hold on, we missing a whole. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> no, not not my man. I'm talking. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, so right, some cool. of my friends, some of my friends, I chose. First of all, I chose correctly, and I got confirmation from God. So I ain't worried about that. But some of my friends be like dating men that they don't like oh they don't describe to me that they want to date mm. like they'll tell me like i want this i want that man and god want da, 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 and they need to show me this, they need to pray with me this. and then they go choose a man who don't do none, none of the of above yeah. mm -hmm. and i'd be like why are you dating them because they penmentize that's why mm -hmm. yeah true but my thing is like why are you Pen even da if you if if he can't if you can't marry this man that you see in front of you right now why are you even even you know, dating that's him that's, that's a great question i had somebody the same way i they told me the situation. I said, yo, that's not your husband. You're wasting time. He told you yourself and you still with him. Distractions. That's what that's what but I was I, just telling you about. I never would get it. I would never understand why would you choose to still stay with somebody like like when you know this it's a no it's called the euphoric fog so this is uh, something that my husband has made up and it's oh, okay. such I was like, a I never heard that real thing uh, the euphoric fog I'm gonna Google it. is when you are intimate with someone and mm -hmm. I have talked to so many women that's like I promise TK I am not blind by sex I promise I, I it's know it's impossible what it's impossible you put that pain in your urethra too the, <laughs> when you are <laughs> just keep going just keep going I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I'm not used to it. It'd be too wild. I have to recalculate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I um, Google that must say you're <laughs> The more that a man is blowing your back out, the more excuses That's that you word. make. Point blank period. Mm. It's just you just begin to make excuses. There are women that are married to the list that they have that was a non-negotiable. They're married to that My God. because they were in a euphoric fog when they chose them. And so this is why I know sex outside of marriage is so common. And that is the problem because we have lessened the consequences of it. We've lessened it because it's common. Facts. Just because it's common, that don't take away the fact that you're about to have a hell of a marriage now. Yeah. Because you chose through euphoric fog. And so we talk about this. Fog, we have sex. FOG, euphoric Yeah, fog. FOG. It is the euphoric fog. So, you know, when you when you get done being intimate and you're like, wow, this is a great man. This is a great. You just did all that. Like you're in this sense and you you got to think about you're marrying that in that moment. Yeah. Not logically. So when women ask me, how did you know your husband was the one? They get upset that my story is so boring. 
because it's very logical. Mm. It's a very logical decision I made. A man of God works, provides, he's sexy to me. We're sexually compatible. Praise God. That's that. And sexually meaning attraction. That's it. It wasn't like when he came in a room, I saw the thing around him. And exactly. Oh. And then the Lord spoke to me in the middle of the night and he said, that is your, I didn't have, I saw mm -hmm. a man that was a God fearing man. I watched him worship for a year, right? On, on the praise team, worshiping, dedicated. I saw integrity. I saw the, okay. Yes. Yo, that's crazy. And so, yeah, we talk about not choosing and keep, keep out of them bedrooms because then we have conversations with married people like she ain't doing that. Yeah. It's like, you yeah. probably was never supposed to marry her. And so, yeah, we're going we gonna to work with you, right? We're going to work with you. We're going to have some real conversations. We're going to help. We're going to exhaust all the options. But we just got to be real. So that's why we have those conversations as we do on our podcast to the single people. Yeah. Get up out of them bedrooms. Mm -hmm. You can get to your husband faster if you get out the bed. Because I, I, I got a homie. Um, he called me recently. It's another homie. Um, he was talking, like, he's just going through a really, really difficult time mm. with his wife. Yeah. And he was just pretty much, like, telling me, like, I knew for a fact that I wasn't supposed to marry her. But I felt because God is a gracious God. Boy, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because God is, God is gracious. You know what I'm saying? Then they use scripture, right, big bro? <laughs> you know, uh, um, you know. You know, God, you know, accept you when you was messed up, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, now nah, he going, he going through it. Like, he, oh. like, he was like, bro, like, I was, I was going to off myself, like, unalive myself, because I just can't, I can't see it. Like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. And I'm just like, I I said, how do you, how do you, <clears throat> what do you suggest in moments <laughs> like that? <laughs> you want your husband to stop? That man said, just leave. Who said that? Go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, but. His mic's off. <laughs> like what do you what are you doing that yeah. what do you do in that situation? Um again, I empathize with that and you know, I think many a times me and my husband have felt like, "Oops. Are you the right one?" Mm. Um this during marriage. Yeah. Okay, okay. Am I correct, babe? Like oopsies, you know, like oh. get on the mic, brother. Especially in the beginning. Um sure. And so yeah, I empathize with the husbands that and I mean or wives, anyone that mm. is dealing with feeling like oopsies right mm. i made the wrong decision i do think that there is hope period i really do like people ask me do you think there is a choosing of the one i think for some cases god has absolutely been like y'all two about to do some crazy work here on earth this this and that. i think for some of us just like i mean you know use wisdom <laughs> and pick pick as well as you can <laughs> um but what i say to that man is mm. um i'm gonna speak to the husband real quick I think the first thing that I always want to encourage a man to get to is a place of self-worth, mm. value, and confidence, right? When you can identify yourself as a son of God, when you can identify yourself, when, when I asked my husband today, I, I set him down literally right before we got, we got here and I pulled the scripture up to him, uh, washing of the word, the whole scripture. I said, do you see yourself in that? Mm. And he's like, yeah, I do. I'm safe. Right? I'm safe if you can see yourself in that first. And so I think first and foremost, a lot of men are just battling with self-esteem issues. Mm. They're they're battling with their own walk. They're battling with their own value, especially if they're dealing with a woman that done cut them up with their words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to pick up all the cuts and the bleeding and the leaking. And so I would encourage that man, like, I know it's difficult, but like, go on that deep dive of a self-discovery within the word journey and really fall in love with building up yourself and your value. Now, on the second part of that, it is still your responsibility to wash it with the word. And sure. I think that unless you have married a maniac. Mm. It could it be? They did. <laughs> could be. Unless you have married a maniac that don't love God at all. There's no ounce. That's a whole That's a whole different conversation. conversation, yeah. You know, I was but looking if up. If there think about this. I I think about dating same sex right dating women popping pills uh, partying in and out of jail I think about my lowest moments anytime let me say this thank you Holy Spirit one of the things that I tell the women to do that are dealing with what you're talking about and vice versa dealing with a difficult partner is one of the things that keep me from thinking that that person is worse off than me is continuously repenting continuously putting my flaws in front of me 
the Bible talks about not focusing on the the person, yeah, the, person. the speck in their eye because there's a log in yours. Mm -hmm. So if I can keep my head down and I can say, you know what? I forgive you for that. You acting kind of nutty, but I go in the throne room and I'm reminded how flawed I am and how much I need grace and how much I need forgiveness. It makes it a little bit easier. Mm. And so both of y'all look up. <laughs> if y'all can both look up, if y'all can both do what the word is saying, if y'all can both focus on your own logs in your eyes. I mean, again, unless you, it's, it's just never been a, a circumstance. Let me say this. It's never been a circumstance. I've been in a room with two people who like one person is just absolutely lost, lost in the relationship with Christ, just gone. They're typically got a little try in them. True. I looked but up. this one kind of good. She, she nutty. <laughs> Does she well, not love the Lord? I mean, she don't have a relationship with, with God? Yeah, she definitely I mean, got a relationship with God. You don't even know what I'm talking about. She got a relationship with God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, you don't even know I mean, what I'm it's just, it just goes no, so deep because I'm like, who's, who's her friends? Who, who, that's, who's that's she around? That's always the I be saying that I ask the same question. That's be the question I ask. Who you talking to? I ask that too. So I, we're, we're I, believing God. We're I, had to, I, I remember one time I had. To yeah, ask. we're we're gonna um, talk to this husband right now. So we're gonna talk to the husband of with a difficult wife. Yeah. Exhaust all the options. But right? he has. Listen, get her. Who's she around? Who's her he's, influence? He's he's put. You know. We talking from spiritual counselors to mental institutes to this. I'm being dead serious. I didn't mean to laugh. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's funny. No, no, it's, it's, like, it's, it's not funny, but you know, it's not. Mean, but yeah, I get I just, it. Like, cause it's, it's it's everything. Like, yeah, every. I mean, literally it, everything. Is, is and, the husband paying for her to go through therapy? Like, uh, yes, and and it's like the. This is the thing. Two things. Like it's very like we were speaking about earlier. It's very difficult to to when you have a quote unquote alpha female, right? It's really it's really difficult. And then on top of that, you got like women got to realize as much as as much as we like as much as we're the leaders, the priests, yada yada yada. We set the temperature in the crib, man. When y'all walk in and y'all pissed about something, like the whole house just feel different. Like it's True. it's a different kind of energy mm -hmm. when your wife is like pissed off about whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like as much as you would, because we're we're like, all right, baby, what's wrong with you? Like how we're fixers to try to try to fix or figure mm -hmm. out what's nice. wrong. And fi so when you are like. Jacking up the energy yeah. in the atmosphere yeah. because you know Let you give a, you this. give a wife a house she turned into a home when you decide that you want to turn the temperature down in this mug like doop, 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 all the way to a hundo and it's boiling it's like what it's like yo and if you constantly living in that every yeah, single lot. day it's a lot mm -hmm. and you're trying everything you can possibly do and it's okay, like. Bye. You just want to keep it at 150 degrees in here at all times? It's like, what are you? <laughs> just I, but I, that, that's, I, I feel, Tell you on my phone, bro. Is the husband taking her out on dates? Why would he want to take her out on dates if he's doing Listen, the no, advice, no, no, no. The advice I'm is not trying to say, don't eat the That's the only yeah, advice. No, no, no I mean, I'm not trying to say. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. Because every like, time I talk to these men that are like this, they ain't dating her. She ain't having no orgasms. Man, you ain't trying to go nowhere with that. That's, that's no. false. That man, the Bible said, let's go on the that roof, bro. That's what I'm going But that can't be that's, false. I wish we would have brought the Bible because I was reading. Um, I got a Bible How's that the false? Up. Because it's just like, bro, if my, oh, my if, my en if my energy, and once again, I'm not talking about me, but I'm just saying, though, because I've, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been there. Thank God me and my wife made a decision that we're going to fight. Yeah, and and y'all know we don't talk to y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We we fight, DJ. You know I talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to all of y'all. Y'all seen it at last year was the craziest year of my marital life. Period. Yeah, we but we decided to fight. You know what I'm saying? We decided to fight for this joint. Like I'm a boxer. I don't quit. You yeah. don't have to knock me out cold. You know what I'm saying? I just don't quit. I don't have that in me. So we decided to fight, and thank God we're filtering everything through the word. Like you know what I mean? And that is very true. Yeah. But my thing is like I know what it feels like to be like. In that, I mean, you ain't trying to go nowhere. Like, like, I don't even like you at the house. Like, we're going to go out here and that's bowl the worst and have a good can, time. That's like, the worst thing. That's the worst. You, that's the worst thing you can do. It is literally, it's the same thing. But I don't want to be with you. So why do see, I want to go out with you? This is, see, in my community, I teach them very difficult things that they don't want to hear either. And so this, just take this with a grain of salt, right? Uh, yeah. When women are upset at men, at their husbands, what's the first thing they do? Their husband, when they upset, what, no what's sex. the what's slam the, stuff around the house? No. Oh. 
I mean, Jesus, I hope not. You feel, you feel <laughs> the, the cabinets no, start closing no, a little bit harder. Talk. If, 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 if they didn't talk. When a woman, no, she don't want to talk. She passed that point. Oh, okay. She don't want to talk. She's that upset. No what, sex. What did she do? Say that again. I said no, no sex. sex. Exactly. That's what I said the first time. You said, oh, oh you did? You said, I thought you said no. I only heard oh. he, uh, what he said. So women come to me all the time. I have challenges in my week every, I mean, in my community every week. The last one was spontaneous head. And then write him a note on how much you enjoy Hey, do it. me a favor. I'm going to clip it. Um. <laughs> that was hey, literally the Walmart same challenge. Say it one more time. <laughs> I had to turn on Michael. <laughs> I can't do this. I said, I can't do this. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, yeah. first of all, let me just shout out TK, though. Because I'm not <laughs> even, like, subscribing to her little subscription thing. <laughs> but TK it. sent me the stuff and be like, do this this week. I be like, boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do. So, Chill. So oh, last no, no, no. week, it Does was... Give your hug. Hey, relax, bro. Nice. No, I'm, like, I'm sorry. Relax. Hey, 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 man. My sister right here, yeah, man. I gotta turn my mic off, man. My bad. Hey. I, I, t <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna know since she being obedient, bro. Oh, she being obedient. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, okay, all right. Cut it. Yeah, last <laughs> week it was spontaneous head and then write a note afterwards. Do y'all know how many women in that chat was saying, girl, I am upset at this man. Can I do anything else? I said, no. Mm. Absolutely not. You cannot do anything wow. else. You are going to give this man some head. And let me tell you why. Because when we're going back to dating, right? Y'all don't want to date us when you're mad. You don't want take to uh, take us out on a date. Women don't want to have sex with y'all yeah. when, when they're upset. So if those two things, number one, for a man, what, after y'all have sex, are you still like, are you a little bit better? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, then. That's a perfect opportunity. So you just said absolutely. So how ignorant would it be for me to tell a wife, nah, don't do it. And you just said it, absolutely it makes you feel better. Vice versa. When you take the time to actually date your wife again. Because let me tell you something. For every woman that is a mother, that is, you ain't even got to be a mother. You just got to do a lot. Sometimes you get so caught up in being a, a worker, a career girl, a mother, a this or that, and your husband barely talking to y'all in and out. Mm -hmm. You need to remind her of who she is. So you're also, you also, and I don't even like saying this a lot, but you also have a responsibility of nurturing her femininity too. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. So you are I, pouring I back into what is you, it's yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm pouring into me when I X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You're pouring into you when, or when you take your woman out, when you say, here's that dress. Seven, I don't care how mad you are at her. Just try it. Yeah. Get somebody to watch some kids. Take her on a, a date. Have a couple glasses of wine and just tell me if y'all still upset. Mm. Eat, if you got to be out for five hours, do what you got to do. But that's the same thing I tell the wives. I don't care how mad you are. You need to make sure you go have sex. You need to make sure you keep the intimacy alive because that's how everything. Be, it says don't give the enemy a foothold. Yeah. And did they? Did they, what was the responses besides the they one you said? It. Okay, because uh -huh, they had to show evidence of the note that they wrote afterwards. So okay. yeah, I'm a, and I'm gonna continuously. What, babe? I can't, I just Huh, huh, no. Yo, 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 slide no, no, up, slide no, up, slide no, up. No, no. You trying to come sit down? No, I, I, real right. real quick, I was just thinking about, like, you got to psych yourself out. <laughs> nah, bro, we need you on camera, bro. Okay. We need you on camera. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The way booze, bro, come on. Uh, Coach Nandi in the building. <laughs> yeah, sir. This is family, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I was thinking about, like, we got to, like, really psych ourselves out. Uh-huh. Like even when you just like, man, I can't stand her right now. Yeah. Typically, whenever whenever my wife is tripping, I'll be like, a couple of things. I'll be thinking, I'll be like, Gosh, I take this woman on a freaking date. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Like I know her meter. I've been with her long enough to know. Okay, mm. I haven't treated her out. I haven't treated her like a lady. Open up the door. Get give her some roses. Done done those things. It's crazy how we can we can go to a job. We hate. We'll psych ourselves out. Why? Because we know in two weeks we're gonna get a check. Think about our marriage. Something that a covenant that we've made, you know, in front of God and like, Lord, I'm I'm gonna give my all to this. Mm. It's a covenant between like between us with him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And we won't psych ourselves out for that? Okay. Mm. For our Lord and Savior? Sometimes you do got the one that took the out. lashes? <laughs> mm. For me? My wretched self, when I was out here, bad, I just, I'll be like, why? Like, heck no, yeah, she tripping. Go ahead. We just gonna be some two tripping, don't care about each other, eating our wings, okay. whatever, whatever. Mm. But 
Typically, the temperature, the temperature gonna start to go down. You say you just want a glass of wine. No, all you need is one. Glass, and uh-huh. then you like, oh, okay. yeah. And then you we got good. you got married for a reason. Yeah, y'all, cause we, cause y'all actually thought y'all each other was dope. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. really what. So we got to get back to where like where we actually see each other like friends again. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like when we go out, and let's say we just been having a heated streak. Now I'm like. Dang, I forgot how dope you are. This is my homie right here. We get to kick it, like for real. Like you crazy. You just saw that. You just did it. Like we get to go have fun. We gotta. We got so much of the jobs and the kids and the. Man, all that stuff gets so bogged up, man. You be so heavy and so angry and it ain't got she mad, but it really ain't got nothing to do with you. You mad and really got nothing to do with her. Man, a lot of that stuff just gets so crisscrossed, man, that we would just psych ourselves out. Psych ourselves you know, out for the covenant. Straight you know, it's one thing my wife told me that blew my mind. It was so simple. Um, uh, she was telling me that one time she told me, like, we were speaking about, like, protecting and providing as men. Mm-hmm. And she told me it was so crazy. She told me she was just like, "You do." She was like, "Do you realize that providing is deeper than just um, finances? Just finances." Mm-hmm. And I was just like, <clears throat> I sat back and I thought about it. And I was just, so I just so I was like, like you know, I asked the question like, like what do you mean? Like how can I provide in a in a deeper way? And she was just telling me like, like emotionally. Mm-hmm. And I was like. I sat back and I just had to take it on the chin because it wasn't a bad like vibe you know what I'm saying but I was just like I just had to repent like I was just like yo I didn't you know because typically how society you know tells like even for me I got my my dad from the islands you know what I mean so my pops get up he work one two job make sure we straight make sure the house is good Mm -hmm. bring the bread home we never Mm -hmm. you know we lived in you know we, we grew up in South Jamaica Queens it was tough it was rough but I watched like my parents come from the islands having nothing mm-hmm. working. You know what I mean? Even to this day, my pops get up every day at the same time and go to work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so just seeing that, naturally, you kind of just become a product of that. And it's just like, yo, you get up and I'm working and I'm making sure the family, I'm like, yo, y'all good. Lights is on. Cars is paid for. Yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my part. Yada, yada, yada. But when she said that to me, it like it really struck home. I was like, dang, yo, like. Dang, so you 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 gotta provide even like in all the areas that she needs nurturing in. Yeah. And then now I, I, I sat down and I talked to God and then you start you start looking at it through the word, how God provides for us, nurture us from that perspective, how he's yeah. there to you know what I mean, mm-hmm. encourage and do this. So then now I find myself doing that on a deeper level and then it's just like, dang, yo, this is It's different. This is dope. Like, you know I'm what I'm saying? Different. Like and then it comes like you said, it comes back. 360 it definitely does you know what i'm saying and then it's just like the temperatures feel different we handle in situations a lot different you know what i'm saying and it's just like i'm still waiting for my note (laughs) (laughs) oh my god i'm proud of her okay anywho um all right (laughs) all right I look at it as no, a half listen, of it. She ain't doing the note. I need my note. Back to Jesus. <laughs> back to Jesus in the body. <laughs> back, to, back to Jesus who you're supposed to be like, Legacy. Listen. <sighs> when God did what he did on the cross and he saved us, right? We're going through the sanctification, whatever. Everything that we do is literally back to him. Mm. That is, again, your role. So everything you do, and when you, when you decide to, like my husband was talking about take it on the chin whatever it feels like for you when Mm -hmm. you decide to do that it comes right back to you so it can feel and the crazy thing is it does no absolutely and the crazy thing is when you train yourself after a while it it becomes second nature Mm -hmm. so when you train yourself for a woman every time that she's intimate when she doesn't want to you begin to know i i I don't want to say I got to do this, but this is my duty. Yeah. So there, it becomes less of a struggle. It becomes less. And then, you know, the benefit. Okay. He's cool down, right? Like he's chilling out now. He was yeah. acting kind of crazy because he was a little horny. That's okay. We're going to solve that. Vice versa. When your wife is acting up, when your wife is being masculine, it's your duty. The crazy thing is I was trying to pull this up because the definition of one of these words, I can't remember it. In Ephesians 5, when it talks about the husband, the definition of one of the words, I don't know if it was, I can't remember, y'all, so sorry, but the word was nurture. And I was so shocked by seeing that as a masculine trait. But it's literally pouring back 
it's it's pouring into her to pour back into yourself. And I'm like, oh my God, duh, that's what Jesus does. Mm -hmm. He's giving into us. He's loving on us. He's forgiving us. And what do we do in with return? We serve him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We glorify him. It's the, the same exact thing. Nurture says the process so, of a caring for and encouraging the growth of development for someone or something. Cleansing, washing, mm -hmm. grooming, all of that. Yeah. So yeah, you pour back into yourself. Facts, facts, facts. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to run off into a break. We got one more after this. Hey, man, we got more with Coach TK when we come back, man. FlowRadioShow.com, you know the vibes. We live and certified. Y'all keep it locked. What's going on? It's your boy DKG Kai here at the Fresh Leftovers Radio Show. Y'all going to make sure y'all tap in with them. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Man Legacy the Prince. It's your boy DJ before you are. Yo, it's the Fresh Leftovers <laughs> Radio Show, FlowRadioShow.com. You know the vibes. We live and certified, man. We got Coach TK in the building. Mm -hmm. .net checking in with us. Uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> .net what? checking in with okay. us. Oh, I'm out, man. <laughs> nah, man, Coach TK in the building, man. Dropping some crazy nuggets on us, man. You, you enjoying yourself? Yes, this has been amazing. I couldn't wait to come back and sit with y'all. Ah, uh, man, we appreciate Great you. Great conversation. Appreciate you. We're not done yet, though. I got some more questions. Okay, period. All right, man, we got a couple of questions for the fellas, right? Um, what advice do you have for men who feel like their contributions in their household goes unnoticed and unappreciated? Send your wife to my community. All right, cool. Next question. Because, you know, at this, <laughs> point, at this point, it's like you, I'm learning, which is why I didn't like one-on-one -on -one coaching. You just got to literally do life with the people that are doing it right. Yeah. Mm, okay. you, you have to do life with them. You have to allow them to give you the tools, the resources, even as they grow. I'm in all kind of programs. I'm consistently learning. So everything that I'm learning, I'm pouring back into them. So listen, if you are a husband watching this, stop complaining, pay the price to invest in your, your woman and your marriage. Facts. What are some ways that men can support their wives in achieving a better work-life balance? Make sure she has orgasms very often. Date her. Love her emotionally, meaning actually listen to her, actually seek understanding. And one of the main things is men need to be to pray for discernment. Mm. Discerning your wife and we're in, you know, women want men to read their minds, but I think it's discerning. For instance, just a couple seconds ago, I barely whispered that my water was out of my cup and Ali already handed me a bottle of water. That is the type of energy wives want from their husbands, is to be able to discern. And so pray for discernment. When did she do that? Yeah. I've seen it when she Just did like it. Just like y'all was clowning. A few minutes ago. Okay, I've seen cool. it when she did it because she was asking. We a team, so. I can't read your we mind. We gave you some water. No, no, no. It's not reading your mind. And this is what I always have to correct. It's not it's not reading your your woman's mind. It is being in tuned spiritually with yourself and with God. So for instance, I had a call with my community um Tuesday. And I'm I'm doing the meeting and I'm feeling stagnation in my spirit. And I feel like I'm hitting a wall with them. Uh -huh. And so I'm wrapping up and I'm like, "All right, y'all, we about to um, you know, pray da, da 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 boom boom boom, Holy Spirit, loud. Sadness, depression. I'm feeling grief. I'm feeling sadness. So I had to stop. I said, I sense that somebody's like dealing with random, like demonic attacks of sadness. When I tell you these women are, I mean, tears. Oh my gosh. Like, yes, I can't even da 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 da. So being able to discern this, you got, this is something you can pray for. Yes. This ain't something that some people get. You can pray, Lord, help me to discern so I can be the best husband that I can be. I want to be able to discern. I want to be able to sense. I want to be able to be in the know. If I love you, Sometimes we ain't going to say everything just like you don't say everything. But if you have a discerning Ooh. partner, it helps. Pray, husbands, hear me very clearly. I'm going to talk to this camera. If you pray for discernment, the, number one, the Lord will give it to you. Thanks. Number two, that will solve half of the problems in your household. Dang. If you can get in front of some stuff, mm. if you can get in front of the anger, in front of her feeling like she's masculine. Okay, just like my husband says, I know my wife's my wife meter. Mm -hmm. I can tell she's getting a little irritable. irritable. Ooh, okay, let me take her on a date. Imagine how many arguments we avoid because he decided to be selfless in his prayers and say, help me discern my wife. It's such an easy solution. Mm. Mm. Hold on. My you God. Guys God. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to uh, just second what she said. It's so crazy because um, I want to be married about, about two weeks now, maybe three. And, uh, are you yeah. now? Is this the first time? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's she, the first she time. Hasn't no. it to I mean, I said it on 116 podcast. Yeah, but you oh, didn't okay. say it on, on the show you're on. This is so yeah, serious. Yeah, it's my first time saying it on here. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my 
Oh, I All the way in the Cray House. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's crazy, bro. The crazy part about that's that is during my interview, the Cray just walked out and, and started talking to me. It's like, what's up, bro? What's your name? I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. What? Oh, that's I heard you married. Hop on. Who this? Congratulations. No. Ooh, that's crazy. That's um, wild, bro. We, me and Dads have already had a, a moment like that, like the discerning thing. It was so crazy because... The Lord is so intentional, y'all. Literally, me and him was about to get ready to go run some errands or whatever. And our car been running hot. So that means, like, the frost not working. I'm, I was on FaceTime with him having a meeting. And the frost not working. So I feel like the Lord was saying, y'all need to go home. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't even just because of the defrosting, thing. Because Dez was making it do what it do. He was still whatever, whatever. Yeah. And he was like, babe, we only 12 minutes for our destination. Let's just, let's just still go. And I was like, I'm really feeling my spirit supposed to go home. Mm -hmm. So we go home. Somebody hit him up to create, to make a shirt. He started making a shirt. The Holy Spirit said, and we started praying. So we have our Alexa in our house at 2 o'clock every day. Turn our lights in the house blue and turn on worship music. And we pray together every single day at 2 o'clock. And so it's 2 o'clock. Alexa come on. Da -da -da, all this stuff come on. And Dez is over there starting to make the shirt. Well, he has to be to work in an hour. But he's trying to get the shirt done. The Holy Spirit said, go tell him to slow down. He's going to mess up the quality of the shirt. And so I went over there. I said, babe, the Holy Spirit said, you need to slow down. <laughs> he was like... I'm so glad you just said that this is the only shirt I have left. The wow. only material I have left. If I mess this up, it's all right. I cannot get this shirt out. But you know what's so crazy? The Lord, the craziest thing about that whole situation is it wasn't even about the shirt because guess what? The person didn't even come pick up the shirt. It was about discernment. It was about communication. It was about he know that he the lead and the priest of the home, but him still be able to listen to his wife say, hey, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. Mm -hmm. So it was a whole mm -hmm. moment for us. And we just, like like I said, we we ain't been married for long at all. But to see the dynamic of us being able to listen to each other, talk to each other, and both be able to yield to the Holy Spirit is like everything that TK just said. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's, so, a, that's a blessing for him to have the ability. First of all, it's in the word. Submit unto one another. Mm -hmm. We skip that part a lot. Mm -hmm. So he is a wise man if he's listening to his wife who listens to the lord that isn't less masculine it is actually wisdom that's yeah. great so, yeah. what you talking about it's a wisdom. cheat code bro the holy spirit is a cheat code the holy man. spirit literally is a cheat code but yeah. i wanted to ask you um as we wrap and close bring these things to an end mm -hmm. i wanted to ask you what can the women from the ladies of light expect in this next season from mm -hmm. your community um women are getting married Ooh, that's just that um, and they're not only getting married they are being prepared and equipped to excel as kingdom wives so they're not just they're not just walking down aisles and planning weddings these women are sharp in their mental on what their assignment is as wives so that when very normal things happen in marriage they ain't falling apart they ain't looking at porn they ain't trying to cheat they ain't trying to they already been they've been prepped for that so i believe that the lord has us on a mission for this generation of women to actually know the assignment of marriage we're no longer focused on of course we're going to get the dress we're going to have the beautiful wedding but we're going to be very clear on the severity of what we're signing up yes. for so yeah it's going to be different and i think what that looks like here on earth is a generation that is healed a generation that sees their mother in love happy mm. fulfilled right they don't have to go I tell women this all the time. The reason why I do what I do and I work so hard to be the best wife, the best mother, the best everything is because I got two little faces I'm looking at mm. and I refuse for them to have to fight what I had to fight for. Yeah. They're going to ease into marriage. They're going to ease into motherhood. And so, yeah, the women are being clear about that. Women are getting married. Wives are um, getting a refreshing wind in their marriages. They're seeing hope again. Mm. The t I, I, don't even, I don't even have enough time. I just told my uh, the girls that this today. I'm like, I need to be so much more intentional about sharing the testimonies. We're talking about women that have never gave their man head is doing it. Mm. We're talking about women that, I'm talking never, never. They're like, my gag, I don't like, I don't, mm, At I'm, all? Da, da, da. never, never. But their husband crazy. reciprocates? Huh? And they husband cool with it, but. I know they're not. They definitely not cool with it. So how you do? I, well, that's that's it, another. You still can just have sex. I mean, I get that. Um. But. So yeah, the testimonies is. I be telling. Now I'm trying to keep up with them. Testimonies of healing sexual wounds. Testimonies of. Oh my gosh, I'm just so proud of myself that I was quiet today. I didn't. He said something kind of crazy, and I just took it on the chin, went to my prayer closet, da 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 So, um, yeah, wives are being healed. Wives are getting a new framework. Because the framework that we had before is that we are the prize, we're the bride, and that's end of the story. Happy ever, and it's it's not true. Mm. We have an assignment, and so they're being clear about that as well. Wow. 
And let me also say this. We are also building a generation of women that are actually feminine, nurturing, yeah. and submissive. That's good. And they love it. They, they, it's, it's in their being, first of all. So all I'm doing is pouring into what is already there. I just mm. got to work through some stuff. Yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. EY, you got anything else? Oh. No, nah, I'm just going to say um, thank you for you all's obedience. You too, Nam, I know it's just you involved in this too. Um, yeah. It's not easy, I know, you know, to submit to God in a way. Because I know, again, there's some challenges we have as human beings to want to do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. But for you guys to be able to sacrifice the time, the talent, and finances to invest. Come on now. To be able to do what you guys are doing now. Thank you. Because you guys are really changing lives out here. It's crazy. And, so and, and when I get a chance to pop, you know what I'm saying, pop in, I'll just, you know, I see you, I see it says, oh, shoot, TK joined this joint, and I just try to say, ah, let me see it. Thank and then you. I got to go. I got my both work. of the joints set with the bells on. Come on, <laughs> bells. <laughs> every, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so why do people be hopping on so fast? Yeah, they, they you turn the bell. bells on and stuff? That's yeah, dope. yeah, yeah. But it's not easy, but um, I, I know you guys would be rewarded, even if it's, in, you know, Jesus you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it just... It don't, it don't even have to be financially like mm -hmm. I know probably for sure there's some testimonies you guys haven't heard but mm. it, you don't have to hear all of them just know you guys are really doing some good work bro yeah Big can fight. I say one last thing did you put a heart up you put a I heart just up want oh <laughs> he like I thought you did like <laughs> thank you brother thank you brother thank you <laughs> thank you brother <laughs> Oh, man, no. No, he does do that to the girls, though. That's cool. I mean, uh, hey, if you did that, I mean, I wasn't tripping, bro. DJ's like, appreciate it. Oh, and let me also be clear. Uh, Ladies of Light isn't just for women that want to be wives. Mm -hmm. It's also women that just want to be good daughters of God. Yeah. That's actually the foundation of it. Yeah. Like I said, all the words are kind of just fluff to get them in and we're learning about those things but mm -hmm. we're absolutely growing our relationships with the Lord and then I have to say one last thing shout out to my husband because if it was not for him I would not do this mm. I could not do this through the let me tell you this in the making of my website I got scammed twice really I got scammed twice two times in like two weeks and my like the the due date that we had it was like what the next day or something like that we had a push stuff I mean chaos that's just half of the it was testimony. Like, for, like people on Fiverr or something. Fiverr and um. Uh, wow. Yeah, Kajabi, which is the community app. Fiverr, you got your money back. Huh? You get your money back from Fiverr? No, we. A portion. Okay, cool. But it wasn't even that. I just lost time. Yeah, no time I lost is time. Yeah, 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 that was yeah, the main yeah. thing. Um, so many things happen, and when I tell you, my husband was working harder at my assignment than I was. Yeah. Like. It was times I got in that bed. I said, it's a wrap. I'm okay with being a stay-at-home mom and a little bit of YouTube. I'm, I, I promise. <laughs> I promise. I'm, like, if anybody really know me, they know I like to cook, be home with my kids, and step out a little time with a little girlfriend and do something. I was done. My husband was so dedicated, and this has been his entire being. It's mm. just I, I don't know another human with the integrity, the consistency, and the dedication. I don't know anyone. And so he is just a, such a representation of Jesus to the body as he is a groom to me, the the, the husband to me. And yeah, it just wouldn't be happening if he wasn't in my life. He Big is the better the half. No, I'm good. Everybody that's using on social media know the heartbeat behind that is my man. Hey, I asked for Big Bro first. Here you go. Where's Big Bro at? He upstairs. Oh, so what up? <laughs> nah, man. Um, so talk about the website real quick. Let them oh, know yes. where they, how they can tap into the community, all that good stuff. Yeah. Plug it, plug it, plug it, please. Yeah. So, ladies, listen. If you've been enjoying this conversation, um, you feel connected. And let me say this: I'm not trying to get a, a just everybody. I am looking for aligned and assigned women. That's it. I don't want you to. I don't want you to kind of want to do this. I, as my mentor says, I'm not looking for people that aren't hungry for. I'm not trying to make you hungry. I'm not trying to get you to a place where you know, like you don't know you need more. I'm looking for women that know they need more. They know they need resources. They know they need the tools. They know they need the guidance. So you can um, click the link in my bio on Instagram. You can go to coachtk.net, um, join the community. It is a small fee. It's a small investment. As the word says, wherever your heart is, your where your treasure is, is, that's where your heart is. So you can tell me all day that you want to be X, Y, and Z. If you don't put money on it, it's a lie. So join the community, tap in. Um, it's almost a hundred ladies in the group we're all thriving we're all growing and we will never stop and we also got our foot on the devil's neck there are women that are getting free from smoking weed drinking masturbation all kinds of addictions so yeah it's up so man that's great 
Powerful, 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 man. I'm super excited. Look, make sure y'all... You good, sis? Yeah. You good, DJ? Yeah, man. All right. TK, anything else? That's it. All right. And I'll let Love them know they can follow Thank you y'all. as well. Yes, follow me at TK Lee, uh, three underscores. You can also watch me and my husband's podcast, Pillow Talking with the Eway Boos. If you want relationship content, all things dating, it gets a little wild. It's rated M. So we say it's for married folk, but it's for just grown folk. Be ready for the grown conversations. <laughs> And that's it. I got a bunch of ebooks. Um, I actually have this is my last thing. How, how much time I got? Go, go Thirty ahead, seconds. Go I have a new book that I'm dropping called Divine Reflections, and it's exactly what I've been talking about this whole time. Is I am realizing that men and women, it's not a. It hasn't okay. been released yet. Oh, okay, Thank I was just totally looking for it. Yes. <laughs> trying to make sure. I, yes. Keep up with you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all like put it up. I love it. Um. Because what I'm realizing is, is that people just don't know the severity of marriage. We don't know what we're signing up for. And so the Lord gave me this book, Divine Reflection, literally showing the traits of Jesus and who we are as wives. And so it's also a checklist. Um, I think I might, am I making this free? Oh, for the ladies in the community. Yes. Yeah. So it's literally a checklist. This is something that I look at myself. When my marriage is being weird or anything, I'm like, I look at this checklist like, oh, that's why. I'm not operating in that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Mm. So it's literally a super practical guide, but it's also biblically based. And it's going to, it's, I think every artist says this. This is my best work ever. But I do think it's my best work ever because I think it is the most biblically sound work that I have out or that is about to come out. So look out for that Divine Reflections. Absolute, 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 man. TK, you enjoyed yourself? I did. I want to come good. back tomorrow. Pull up, man. Tomorrow. Pull up. Well, we Pull won't up. be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh, man. But state. definitely, man, make sure y'all tap in, man. Um, we appreciate everything that you're doing. Yeah. Um, you and your husband. Because, yeah. like, for me, like, I, I, I see it being, ap- like, what's the word? Ap- Applicable? I see Applicable. it being applied. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you just keep it simple. You ain't got to just keep Trying it simple. To too much simple yeah. uh, syllables. Just keep yeah. it simple. <laughs> I see it being applied um, in different areas, and um, yeah, I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud grateful. of y'all. Yeah, proud of y'all. Yeah, Facts. this is beautiful. What y'all are doing, staying consistent to the mission, to the call. That is a very rare thing. People give up when when the thing doesn't go where we want it to go. So I'm proud of y'all, and I love y'all relationship. I love seeing y'all interact with one another. It's rare. It's beautiful. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Look, man, y'all tap in, man. Tap in with Coach TK. Y'all know the vibes, man. FlowRadioShow.com, you know the vibes. We live and certified, man. Uh, if we could, man, let's we, we're going to put some stuff up on our page. At least put a link for your page on our page when they go to it. Please. They'll be able to, because I think it's very, very important yeah. um, for that. Um, so we'll make sure we do something special for y'all on that, man. We appreciate y'all pulling up on us. Thank and look, it's a revolving door, so feel free to pull up whenever. Period. Love you. Thank you. Love, Love y'all. both of y'all. Peace. <laughs>